Yeah. This gets into a dicey area. I can't see the road. Mm -mm. And yeah. It's an open field, so. And all of these streets, look, if you went right, all of these streets in a row are all dead end. Oh, this is worse I've been here all my life, and this is worse I've ever seen it. I've been, I've been, you know, I've never seen it like this. Last year during Harvey, it wasn't this bad. You know, I went to the shelter, but this is terrible. There's so many people's getting rescued by the boats and stuff. And you were telling me earlier, you've actually seen the cars floating down the road here. That car right over there, across the street over there was way over here. And it floated across the street over there. You know, and th these people, they just missed the driveways. Water was way up here. You know, it's, it's going down a lot. So I'm, I'm gonna try to wait it out for three or four more hours and try to make it home. What are you praying for? What are you hoping for right now? Everybody, everybody's safe, you know. It's it's pretty it's pretty bad. is totally underwater. I'm not even scared anymore. It's just, I just look at it in pain. Kitchen table and chairs still under, not underwater. I piled up some stuff on the counters, but it's not going to be, be salvageable. <sighs> Refrigerator is floating. I'm not sure what to do. The Jeep is, you can't get it out of the driveway. Can't even get the doors open because water rushes in. Uh, pulled up everything I can. The little girls are literally floating on the low seat. Poor James, you're gonna get hypothermia. You have to get, you need to get you out of here. You need to get off the cigarettes. Okay. Girls are sitting in water. I have to find somewhere higher to put them up. I'm going to be throwing stuff out and putting them on counters here pretty soon. Floating them on the refrigerator. Never realized it was going to be this bad or I would have got out. I would have put everybody in the Jeep and got the hell out. But who would have guessed? Who would have guessed it was going to be like this? I had no idea. Look, the laminate floor is all floating. <laughs> oh, my God. Everything's gone back here. It's, it's up above my, my knees in here now. Only thing left not here, I got some clothes piled up on the, my poor buddy, he's hanging on the bed here. Hi buddy, he's my Pyrenees, he's so scared. He's floating in the, on the bed. It'll be okay, sweetie, yeah. Be all right. He's so scared. I should have got out hours ago. I should have left. You know, I blame myself, but I don't. Now there's no getting out. The Jeep's underwater. It's just a big lake out there. Where am I going to take five dogs, big dogs, four big dogs? Mm. What you going to do? Look, these little kittens here. James has them in a tote. Yeah, what you gonna do? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Please make it stop. It's gotta stop. Still got a little bit of a place to sit up on the counters. I'll be throwing, throwing objects and material goods off and putting the animals up on it pretty soon. And anyway, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Wait, at one point do you call for help? Where, are you, where would they even take me? I mean, James, get James out of here, but I'm not leaving these dogs here. Oh, 
we'll just float around together, I guess, until something gives. I was told even during the worst hurricane that it wasn't, it didn't get this deep. But I'm trying to get my brother's walker to him through the water. This is really fun. I already fell down on my face once. So. Uh, the refrigerator shocked the piss out of me once, out of me and poor Buddy before we got it unplugged. <laughs> the coffee table's floating. Come on, girls, it's okay, honey. All right, <laughs> you got it, James? Poor baby girls, they're so scared. I know, maybe it'll float there until James gets off of it. Maybe it'll float a little bit. I mean, not saying anything, James. Uh -huh. He's just sitting there in his walker with all the dogs on the couch. I won't leave my babies behind, you guys know. But maybe my brother needs to get out of here. I'm a little worried. He's, he's feeling it. Anyway, we'll hang in. Pray this stops soon, but it's not looking too good. It's not looking good at all. Anyway, I'll keep you updated and get this back on the charger. We could only make it this far. We were trying to make it to a friend's house, but we couldn't cross 124 because of the flooding. So that's been all night. It's been relentless. But I'm in my vehicle, my husband's in his, and my two sons are in theirs. And we got the dog in the back. Did, wa did your house take on water? Yes, my whole neighborhood did, just like Harvey. <laughs> so we're devastated. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. What, what, do, you, what do you do at this point? Uh, you just pray for the rain to stop, make it to safety, and we'll be calling insurance agents tomorrow. One good thing about Harvey is that we all had flood insurance after that. So at least we have that. But it'll just be a pain and it's just you got to deal with it at least we're all safe how would you describe this versus harvey i mean uh we there was no preparation harvey we could kind of see coming and we were able to get some things up off the floor and unplug and you know kind of pack a bag and leave this one at nine o'clock the water was halfway up my yard and at 10 30 water was coming in the house it was that fast how deep are we talking about in the house when you left when we left about 11 tonight, it was at the baseboards, so it's probably about another two and a half, three foot, just like Harvey did. What would you tell people across Southeast Texas about what's unfolding here in Winnie uh, that, that happened overnight, with, kind of without warning? Please recognize Winnie. I know sometimes Houston, um, as a big city, gets a lot of the attention, like from the Weather Channel, but Winnie is a small town, and we have devastation, and it's horrible for our little town.